Adamson Bradson Musanda Mushala was a Zambian rebel leader who rebelled against the rule of the Zambian government of Kenneth Kaunda from 1975 to 1982. Before his rebellion, Mushala initially belonged to the United National Independence Party, UNIP, fighting colonial minority rule. He was sent to China for guerrilla training with a view to coming back to fight the colonial government. But upon his return, Zambia was already independent. He demanded to be Minister of Tourism and Wildlife in the UNIP government, which Kaunda denied. Out of frustration, he left Zambia together with his followers and went to the then Southwest Africa, Namibia, under the control of South Africa. He advanced in his guerrilla training and in 1975, after inspiration from Jonas Savimbi of Angola, he came back to Zambia and rebelled against the UNIP government until 1982. It is strongly believed that Mushala was surviving through a complexity of witchcraft and supernatural powers. There were some unconfirmed reports in Sulawesi that the government had even hired some witch doctors locally and abroad to come and try to capture him, but all was in vain. Adamson Mushala was gunned down in 1982 in a military ambush in the remote areas of northwestern province near Sulawesi, where his rebellion began with a post-independence dispute in the 1960s and ended with a bullet through his eye. His body was paraded for public viewing at Solwezi General Hospital. After the death of Mushala, his second in command, Alexander Saimbwende, took over the reins and continued the fight until September 25, 1990, when he gave up after a dialogue with the then member of the Central Committee for Northwestern Province, Alexander Kamalondo. He was then flown to Lusaka where he was later pardoned by President Dr. Kenneth Kaunda. A Mushala movie was released in 2019 that featured actor Leo Sumukoko playing the part of Adamson Mushala. His son, Bert Mushala, who was a politician, member of parliament and minister, released a book in 2018 called Back to Life, in which he describes what it was like growing up and being a child of the famous Mushala.